Hey guys, TG Cash Productions. So Rockstar announced some more upcoming improvements for the San Andreas Mercenaries DLC releasing June 13th. And there is a lot of them. Now, I'm not going to talk about all these, especially considering some of them are repeated from a couple of Newswire articles ago. I will have them listed on the screen, but I do want to go into detail on a few of these, definitely among the most interesting ones. And if you want to go back and see what any of these new upcoming improvements are going to be, I have them listed on my community posts, as well as my social media pages, Instagram and Twitter. In any case, let's get right into it. So starting with vehicle updates, it looks like you'll no longer be charged from Worst Mutual if your vehicle is destroyed during contact missions. That's nice. I remember a couple updates ago, they changed it to where if you destroyed a player's weaponized vehicle, you know, well, you were no longer charged. So it's nice how they're sort of continuing that balance there. Lesser used vehicles are now going to be removed from in-game websites. However, they'll be made available through like events either in showrooms or the Lucky Wheel and maybe some other places. So if there are any of those vehicles you might want to purchase, you're going to want to go ahead and do so now, considering it might be some time before you see these vehicles again. Supposedly, service vehicles such as like the Mobile Operations Center, Avenger, and Terabyte are going to be delivered closer to you when you choose them from the interaction menu. One thing I will say about this is please allow the Avenger to be able to be spawned in Fort San Kudo, especially considering if you have a hangar there, and if the hangar and the Avenger is supposed to be tied together in this new DLC. And the last one I want to go over here, and this is a big one, we have a confirmation of what the new fighter jet is going to be called, and that is the F-160 Reju plane, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And another huge detail about this new fighter jet is it's going to have stealth mode now i know a lot of players were wondering about this considering the f-35 is a stealth plane but this makes this vehicle the third stealth one in online we have the akula and stealth annihilator but not only that the first stealth fighter jet which is absolutely huge and insane and moving right into balancing updates it looks like the weapons on the P996 Laser and Mammoth Hydra are going to be rebalanced in free mode only. Now, Test Funds 2 made a post on Twitter a while back on what this could look like, which would most likely be like range and damage done on players or maybe player vehicles, particularly with the cannon rounds. However, in regards to the new F-160 Reju plane it's not mentioned here now i'm assuming because it doesn't have to actually be rebalanced considering it's a whole new plane to online but in the trailer that we got for this update at the very end we saw this plane take out a couple lasers with the cannon rounds and they look like the regular cannon rounds that we already have it online now maybe that's because in aerial combat they will still do the same damage Personally, I feel like that would be a little odd that there'd be a difference there, but it's definitely something to think about in regards to this new fighter jet. And in terms of some of these other balancing updates here, it looks like the collectibles and online, such as like I, I believe the movie props and like playing cards, are going to have a pay increase. What I recommend is if you've already done them on one character, create another character if you haven't already and complete them on that character to earn additional cash and obviously even more cash once this updates update releases and then obviously buried stashes it looks like in the treasure chest which are daily collectibles are going to get increased as well as some contact missions which are going to have a 25 percent increase and another huge one here is the orbital cannon can no longer instantly uh, reset or be refunded to prevent players from being repeatedly targeted. Now, I'm not sure if this has to do with the orbital cannon glitch or when some players would obliterate someone and then immediately leave the lobby or close their app and then rejoin the same lobby and obliterate that same person where a lot of times they would have their same money since they left the lobby so fast that they didn't save and they could keep griefing that same person. Either way, any positive change with orbital cannon in favor of the player survival and mental well-being is, of course, welcomed. Looks like we're going to get this new career progress that is going to display our progression as we rise to the criminal ranks and establish our empire. It's specifically going to be for PS5 and Xbox Series X and S players, and we can access it from the GTA Online main menu or the pause menu. And it looks like it's going to allow both new players and veteran players to see all their accomplishments 
at a glance. Definitely interested to see what this all entails. I know like a handful of the businesses, for example, track like how many sales you've done, resupply missions. So is it going to be as detailed as something like that? Or is it going to be something on the lines of like we got involved with the Further Ventures of Finance and Felony DLC where we bought like a CEO office and a warehouse? But this is definitely something I'm personally very curious to see considering of how much I have in GT Online and how much progression I have. So I'm really curious to see how much this tracks. So moving on to gameplay updates, we have a new register as boss option in the interaction menu, merging Secure Serve and Motorcycle Club. Now, Test Fund 2 made a comment about this where he said he believes that if you press it, the game chooses whether you, to register you as CEO or MC. Now, I would see this as pretty frustrating if you no longer get to choose what organization you're registered in, but the game chooses. So maybe I'm not understanding that correctly, but... Yeah, I would hope it wouldn't be like that. I'd rather it be like a register as boss option towards the top of the interaction menu, where if you press on that, then you have the option to register as Secure Serve or Motorcycle Club. I think that would be a lot better. There's also a few body armor changes coming, one being where you can buy all option with purchasing body armor at ammunition, and also rank requirements will no longer be needed to purchase certain body armor, which is nice. The buy all option, I'm assuming, is just the same as snacks, where if you're choosing like E-Cooler, for example, you can choose to buy all. It would be really nice if you could fill up on all armor, like when they gift you armor during like Christmas and New Year's. That would be really nice, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Body armor will also be restocked after quick restarting a mission, which is nice. I believe a couple updates ago they made that change with snacks. And also when equipping body armor via the weapon wheel, the type of armor used will be relative to how much damage the player has taken. I don't really see this being really that effective considering that body armor really doesn't give us that much more damage protection. But I mean, hey, I guess nonetheless, any other change that can help us in some way is welcomed. And the last one I'm going to go over here for gameplay updates is you'll now be able to name your asset product via the interaction menu to receive a 5% sell bonus. So I believe that'd be like a 55% bonus if you were selling in a lobby with 25 rival players, which is really nice. Also, Wildbrick142 on Twitter gave us a little bit of an idea of what this looks like since, since this was supposed to be included in the Los Santos Drug Wars update. Since you should be able to name your product in the same place where you can name your Acid Lab, which is under Services in the Interaction menu. And essentially, when you're in your Acid Lab, it'll say Press to sell whatever your merch is called for the amount that's in there. It'll then say Deliver, whatever the name your merch is to the buyer. And then it'll say you successfully sold, once again, whatever your merch name is. So a nice little cool detail. This will be the first business that allows us to do something like this. And lastly, we have Creator Updates. Rockstar loves to showcase a handful of the talented creators in the community through the community series. Just highlight a few here. We're going to have new props that include giant license plate walls, Ecola cans, structural fences, underwater mines, and more. I wonder on the giant license plate if we're actually going to be able to name the plate what we want to in the match. That would be super cool. And besides snow weather being added, which we heard of a couple of Newswire articles ago, there's even going to be Halloween-themed additions arriving later in the year. That's going to be really cool. There's a screenshot with pumpkins. So, yeah, I'm assuming that's probably going to be in there. There's also going to be dynamic teams added to death matches where players can change teams when respawning. There's also going to be health drain where players' health will drain over time. And the prop limit on PC will be increased to 300 so that is crazy. And that pretty much does it for all the updates that Rockstar has listed here coming in the San Andreas Mercenaries DLC. To end off, they say, we always look forward to seeing what, you, what the community cooks up. Tag creations with at the community series on Rockstar Games Social Club and Twitter, Instagram for a chance to see your job featured as part of the community series. We'll be sharing more information soon and detailed patch notes when GTL Line San Andreas Mercenaries launches. Stay tuned for more information here on the Rockstar Newswire. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean we're going to get more information before the update. We could, but I've seen Rockstar mention this before and then also not add any additional information for the update. But in any case, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and are excited for these upcoming changes and improvements. I certainly am. As always, please hit the like, subscribe, share this video. Be sure to comment if you have any questions. And have a great day.